Yo, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be going over how to use Kovacs to get better at Apex Legends. This is an aim trainer that you can get on Steam for about $10, um, so it's not too bad, um, but there are it can be a little complicated um, finding the right maps, um, finding the right sensitivity. I'm going to be going over all that today, so I hope you guys do enjoy. Um, so the first thing we're going to be looking at is how to extract your sensitivity, um, the, the right sensitivity that you have in Apex into Kovacs. Um, so there's this website called Apex Calculator. Um, I'll have this link in the description so you can kick, click on it um, and use it yourself. Um, first thing you want to do, make sure you have your mouse DPI in here. I use 800. Um, if you have like a Logitech mouse, you can. there's a software for Logitech that can let you change your um, DPI or just look at what it is. Um, I think, I'm not sure what like base DPI for certain mouses are. Um, but I'm sure you can just go to Google and look it up um, and that'll be helpful um, After that you want to go to your video settings your horizontal and your vertical. I play 1920 by 1080 um, if you go if you boot up apex, you'll be able to find this really quick The next thing you want to do after looking at your video settings is finding your seal FOV scale um, This is important for the FOV multiplier that we'll be using later um, so just copy and paste this then go into like a folder setting um, and just copy it into this PC and it should open up a notepad um, and it's right here it's it'll be the one two three four thing down um, it just goes into your basically just your apex config settings and extracts it um, then you can copy and paste this close this window and just put it right into here um, and then the next thing you want to do is find your mouse sensitivity um, if you boot up Apex, it's the first sensitivity on your mouse. Um, I play on 1.3. And then there's a zoomed um, sensitivity multiplier. I have mine as one. Um, I know other people use different ones. Just use whatever, you, <laughs> whichever one you're using. Um, and now in the outputs, it'll give you your raw sensitivity for your hip fire, um, your one time scope. These are one times for the base scope. So for the LMG AR sniper, it's this. For the pistol SMG shotgun, it's that. Um, and then it's the two times, three times, four times, six times, eight times, ten times scope. So it goes all the way up um, and it changes your FOV as well, um, which is what the CL FOV scale is for, is to find this FOV um, for every single site. So now let's take these values and put them into Kovex. Um, so in the main, it has a sensitivity scale for a bunch of different games. Um, if you're using this for any other game, you can just click on it right here, and then Apex Legends. I already got it. Um, your horizontal sensitivity is just the base sensitivity you have in um, from the calculator. So I'm just gonna, I mean, mine is just 1.3. That's just my hip fire sensitivity. Um, vertical sensitivity locked horizontal. I'm pretty sure Apex only allows you to do this. Um, if it doesn't, you can uncheck this box and change your vertical sensitivity as well. Um, and then your FOV measurements, make sure to click on Apex Legends as well. And then copy and paste the FOV for whatever sensitivity you're using. So since I'm using my hip fire right now, um, I'll take it from the top one. It'll say hip fire right next to it. Mine is what? 80.04. And yeah, just copy and paste that. And confirm. So that's how you put your hip fire sensitivity in. Um, that's that's basically the easiest one to do. Um, now, if you go back into the Apex Legends calculator, um, as I mentioned before, you can see the one time scope um, for the pistol SMG shotgun, but it's different for the AR LMG and sniper. Um, so whichever one you want to practice with, um, I'll practice with pistol. I'll just copy and paste right under raw sensitivity put it into here and enter that and then it also has your FOV in the same place you found it for hip fire right under FOV make sure don't take the HFOV or the VFOV um, those are different those are just horizontal and vertical um, it's just those are just more specific the FOV is more general um, and is what it uses to it's a better calculation just enter for that um, yeah and then you can confirm and as you can see now my FOV is a little different um, this is basically what it looks like when you're zoomed in when I'm zoom in one times with my sense um, with the pistol SMG or shotgun um, I like using this when I'm training my 
wingman aim. Um, if I'm practicing one of the wingman maps that we'll go over later. Um, and then basically getting any like other time scope is pretty simple. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys can figure it out. There's a two time scope, three time scope. Um, there isn't really a way to change the difference between the HCOG and the, uh, fuck, I don't know what the circle site is. It's like, oh, fuck, I don't remember. <laughs> um, but, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Just use whichever one you feel like you can see with better. Um, and this will just train you for the right sensitivity. Um, now I want to go over some of the maps that I use, um, to practice before I start playing. The first couple that I'll do um, are the man wing maps. Um, so there's Ascended Man Wing, Bounce 180 Man Wing, and Man Wing Strafe Gallery. Um, I think Man Wing Strafe Gallery is probably the best one, um, just because it you can move in it, so you can strafe and shoot. Um, it probably also makes it the hardest for that reason. As you can see, I'm missing a lot. Um, um, it also has like a difference between the headshot and the body shot, like that does less damage than that. See how that does more damage than like that. It's a difference in the health. Um, Cause this one you can move back and forth, you can jump. Um, and you can strafe very fast with the wingman. Um, so this kind of trains you to be able to do that. Um, the other uh, man wing maps, um, the only difference is that you can't really, sh you can't really um, strafe, but they do help you like just with the, with the with the wingman tracking, um, in general, um, if you if you struggle with the speed of the little bot things, or you want to change like how close range something is, um, you can turn down the time scale, so these will move a little slower. Um, as you can see, these are, these are now moving slower. They were moving a lot faster before. Um, I usually I I started at point six. Maybe I, maybe I need to lower it too, because <laughs> I just missed all the shots. Um, I started at like point six, um, and work kind of worked myself up to point eight um, on this map. I usually do one on the other ones, um, on the other man wing maps. Um, also, if you want to zoom out, um, which I like, I usually need to do. Um, just turn up the map scale, um, and it'll keep your FOV in sense, but it'll just train. Um, longer range shots basically um, everything would just be zoomed out more and you can do this for all the maps um, but yeah so for the for the AR maps I like to do this too because my long range tracking um, needs some work make sure that for the uh, for the map scale um, you're you're changing it to what you really need to work on so if like if you feel like your close range tracking is like god tier um, then probably I mean you should still work on it a little bit but try and spend much less time on that than like something you struggle with, like say like mid to long range tracking. Um, speaking of tracking, um, some good tracking maps that I click something by accident. No, I didn't. Okay. Um, <laughs> good uh, tracking maps. Um, I see. Is it Kata? No. Wait. Fuck. Oh. Um, some good tracking maps. Um, Ascended tracking. If I can type ascended tracking, is that that's not how you spell ascended tracking. Fuck me, bro. Oh my god, it froze. There we go. Um, for some good tracking maps, uh, ascended tracking v three is real good. I don't know why I just scrolled down. Um. You can kind of train train all range of all ranges of tracking with uh, the map scale, um, and always make sure you're using free play and not challenge. Um, challenge is more like with leaderboards and stuff. Um, for the ascended tracking, you'll probably want to train your two times and three times um, sensitivities as well, since you're going to be tracking with two times sites and three times sites for like ARs um, and LMGs if you rock the Spitfire. Um, you just always up the map scale or the time scale. You can also up the time scale to make it really fast too. Um, if that, if you want the extra challenge, if you're starting to feel like it's a little too easy, um, that'll be uh, that 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 can be an extra challenge for you. Um, I'll have a link to a document with a with a bunch of um, 
maps and like workout routines basically um, for all different levels of players for advanced, intermediate, and beginner. And also there's a bunch that are in between um, and they'll have a lot of uh, they'll have a lot of different tracking maps. Um, and then for flick shots, I like to do the tile frenzy maps. Um, I think the document has some of these in there too. Um, the base tile frenzy literally just this will train your flick shot aim basically for peacekeeper eva um I, for these i would try not to like put the map scale above the base i think it's like two or something um or even one um you you might want to lower it though so make it like 0.5 um just to make it a little bigger because there are going to be situations where like you need to have like good close range aim if um you like if you're peeking around a corner or you're in a building um and shotguns you're using them you're usually using the very close range anyway um so you'll you'll want to do that um you don't have to worry about the time scale for the shotgun maps because most of them um this the shots the the little bot things aren't moving um it's usually just identify wherever the box is and click it um because that's really what you want to do for shotguns um but yeah those are some of the maps i use um, I'll have that document in the description, like I mentioned before. Um, Tile Frenzy is good for the shotgun, long, uh, ascended tracking, there's a bunch of other tracking ones. Um, and the man wing maps, if you want to be good with the wingman. Um, they can also help your DMR shot if you, um, use like the two times or three times, um, sensitivity and FOV, um, and put the map scale up. Those can train your DMR shots because the longbow <laughs> and the wingman are very similar guns now. Um, and the recoil is pretty similar as well. So, um, yeah, that's a, it's a good idea right there. Or you could do like the eight times or 10 times and really zoom out the map. Um, if you want to use it more as a sniper, which it kind of is. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll have all the links in the description. Um, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. Not bad.